Now I'd like to create a chord for a specific purpose just to show how it's done. So it's been kind of a hard year and I'm going to, um, as my sample, take a chord and, and make a chord for happiness. So I'm going to start with yellow. Yellow is the color of happiness for me. That's my, my meaning. So I'm going to take a, a yellow cord, a yellow, um, really yarn. <laughs> I should standardize my, my terminology. Cord is what happens when you turn twist yarn. I'm going to take purple. Purple is the color of power and success in, in my meaning. I'm going to take purple. And then I'm going to take brown because I'd like to have three strings in my cord. So I'm going to add some brown. And now I have three strands, yellow, purple, and brown. I'm going to knot one end. I'm going to knot the other end. And I'm going to take it over to my desk to show you how to turn this into a chord. Now we're going to take the strings that we've knotted together and twist them into a chord. So the first thing I do is locate a place where I can put one end of the cord. In this case, I'm using my desk drawer, my drawer handle. I could put the cord on the handle and tie it with the slip knot, and I often do that. But it's really easy to get an S-hook, or in this case, an S-carabiner. You can just take this S-carabiner and put it through the, the strings so it holds one end. And then the other end I put on the desk drawer. Now I'm going to start twisting the cords together and I can twist away from myself to send something out in the world or twist toward myself to bring something toward me. In this case, since this cord is to create, to, to draw to myself the support in order to be successful at being happy, I'm going to twist toward myself. And as I do that, you can see that the strings begin to wind together. This is a very old technique. We, um, we've known this technique for as, almost as long as we've been humans, really. It's the first one of the very first tools to make a, a string. Rope used to be made, all ropes used to be made using this technique. And as it twists, it gets tighter and tighter. There's a physical limit, but I don't often go to it. Um, and we're very close to that now, so you see it's a pretty fast process. Now, if I were to let this go right now, this, the string would simply untwist. What I'm going to do instead is take it about halfway, bring one end to the other end, and here we go. I let it go, and then it makes a string, and I straighten it out like this. And now it's not going to come apart. I'm going to... <laughs> I'm going to take these, these, this end here and knot it to secure the other end of this cord. It would eventually unravel if I didn't do that. And now you have a cord. And so now we have the finished cord. I can take this cord and I can put it in my purse. I can uh, wrap it around my wrist. I would if it was a little bit bigger. I can put it somewhere where I can see it every day to remind me that I'm calling to myself the support that I need to be successful at being happy.